thousands of years ago, all this part of the world was covered in forest. Trees grew tall and strong. Trees ruled the world. In the heart of that ancient forest, something started to grow. Underneath the moss and the lichens, in the warm earth, in a node of the mycelium network, a seed germinated. But there was very little light. The canopy of the bigger and older trees overshadowed the sapling. So it had to struggle to get any sunlight at all for its new leaves and its roots. It had to reach up for the gaps between the bigger trees. It had to stretch and twist and lean and stretch again. And so as that sapling grew taller and stronger, it grew into a very funny shape. Years passed, the sapling became a strong young tree. And then people started coming into the forest. And the first people coming into the forest were the craftsmen. They were looking for the finest timber to fell and carry away to make into house frames and ships and fine furniture. But when the craftsmen saw the twisted tree, they shook their heads. They said, we'll never get a straight plank out of that. It's useless. Leave it. So they left it. As more time passed, the forest became smaller. Storms knocked over some of the biggest and oldest trees. Lightning struck and fire roared. Across the stream, huge trees were burned to blackened stumps. More trees were toppled by burrowing beetles and by fungus. Thousand upon thousand of fallen trees became food, refuge and nursery for a whole zoology of life forms. Thousand upon thousand of trees were felled and dragged away to become part of new civilizations in strange new worlds. Years passed, decades passed, and kings and landowners and barons disputed the property rights and the wealth that could be gained from this forest. And then there were just woodcutters coming into the forest and they were chopping down anything they could find to carry away to sell as firewood at the side of the road. But when they came to the twisted tree, they shook their heads. They said, well, look at the knots, look at the twists in that. And if we sell that for firewood, it'll spit sparks all over the place. It's useless. Leave it. So they left it. A few years later, the twisted tree was the only one left of all that great forest. It stood in the middle of a town square with cars and trucks and bikes snarling and growling all around. The twisted tree's canopy had become vast. Those branches spread from one side of the square to the other. In the rainstorms of spring and autumn, shoppers and walkers in their blue anoraks would scuttle for shelter underneath the branches at the wine festival, the green canopy kept everybody cool as they feasted all day and danced long into the night. In winter, the town council paid for fairy lights to be strung all around the lower branches when it snowed. 
the effect was magical. On summer evenings, when the traffic was quiet, people would bring their drinks out from the bars and the pubs into the square. There were small tables and chairs all around. Some sensible person had installed a circular bench around the base of that vast tree. And people of all ages would sit together and drink and play cards or chess and talk about their days and talk about their lives. One evening, they saw an old man coming to join them. As he shuffled across the square, everyone could see that he looked upset. And they said, what's happened? What's the matter? The old man was nearly in tears. He said, my wife keeps telling me I'm useless. She says she doesn't like the way I do things. And then she says I don't do what she wants done and if I tries to do it, she doesn't like the way I've done it. She goes on and on, nagging at me, telling me I'm useless. So what's the point of being alive if I am useless? One of the friends got up, put his arm around the old man's shoulder and he said, you see this tree? This tree that's been here all our lives, this tree that is a joy to us every day. Well, I tell you, if this tree had been useful the way people expected it to be, it never would have survived. But over the years, everyone said this tree was useless. If it had been useful, it never would have been left here to grow ancient and splendid and give us shelter from rain and sun. My friend, this tree is doing just fine, just as it is. And you are doing just fine, just as you are. <laughs>